Hi, Owen, it's Paula from Fabish You Can Porium, and today we've got this huge project on because we've got a new shop to move to soon and we've got to fill it. So, I've got my lovely wallpaper that I got from BQ, and I have still got this little bit left. I've used it several times, but I just love it. So, we're going to use that on the insets here. And so, to match it and to go with the colours, I've chosen today um, Arctic and Dove. And Dove is going to go in here. I've chosen smooth paint today to see how it differs from the chalk paint because I'm mostly a chalk paint girl. So I wanted to have a little go with this and, um, and then report back kind of what I find. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to crack on and get a lot of main colour on um, and then I'll show you how we distress and how we get the um, decoupage wallpaper on. All right. Oh, yeah, right. I thought I'd check in at this point, I was going to finish it, but we've had a few problems and they're really quite common problems, so I thought I'd just run through them to uh, help you if you get the same. White is very problematic quite often with bleed through. If furniture is going to bleed through, it's going to show up a lot more when you use the colour white. We got a lot of bleed through with this. Um, and what you do if you get it, once you've done your first coat, you can see where the bleed through is. I've used polyvine matte varnish and put a coat of it just where the bleeding is um, and then dried it with a hairdryer, put another coat of it on, dried it with a hairdryer and then painted. Now in some places, even that hasn't been enough and even though the original area has now shrank, there's still a little bit that's persevering. So I put some more matte varnish on it um, dry it, more matte varnish, dry it in just the small area and go through that process all over. It's taken us quite a long time um, and particularly because we're looking at wanting a really quite pure white looking piece. But that's how you cure it. It, it is doable. So just to finish, we've painted just inside the drawers so that it doesn't particularly show on these at all. But sometimes you get drawers that sink in and it's really annoying if you've got a wood edge showing when you finish it all so we always paint just inside and we always paint just the the surface of the drawer not the sides um, for the same reason really that it's problematic with most drawers putting them in if you've then added a layer of paint it jams it so I very rarely paint the sides um, and as for the smooth it feels amazing. It is like glass. It is so smooth. We haven't sanded it and I'm not going to sand it. I don't need to sand it. I'm absolutely loving the finish and the feel of it. So that's the progress so far. Uh, we're going to carry on and do the next piece, the top half. I hope I don't get quite so much bleeding because this has been a bit of a mission. But it's going to be worth it because it's going to look gorgeous when we finish. So we'll come back when the next bit's done. All right. Hiya, new day, and as you can see, the top half is looking absolutely fabulous. I am now um, spreading PVA blue very thinly, that's the trick, um, and I've done it wrong lots of times, but very, very thinly over the whole area that I'm going to stick the paper. I have carefully measured out each panel, and don't assume that each panel is uh, the same, because they're not always. So I, I've, and I've prepped and I've put number one on the back, number two, number three, to make sure that I know which one goes where. It's just little helpful bits like that that stop disasters happening. So having put it on very, very dryly, I'm literally just going to press it in place. Because it's dry, it's not all going to bubble up too much. And you will get a few bubbles, but you have got room to reposition it. Because that's the nature of PVA, and then smooth it out. As it soaks in the dry PVA that you've put on, you might get the odd bubble and you can squeeze it out, but don't be scraping it and trying to re-pull it, because it will settle back down once it's dry. Okay, I'm going to carry on to the other two.
right, so we're very, very nearly there. It's almost finished. Um, but my last outstanding bit is to get my husband to drill proper holes because the holes don't go all the way through. But we've chosen the knobs. We've got a kind of eclectic thing going on, but I think the bees work, the colour works. So I'm really pleased with it. Just as a little touch, I cut these out of the um, wallpaper to just sort of draw and bring it all together. I absolutely love, 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 I cannot tell you how much I love this smooth paint. It feels smooth. <laughs> it's so aptly named. Um, I love the finish. I love this dove colour. It looks really pretty. I'm sure it's going to look absolutely gorgeous in somebody's home. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a go at uh, wallpaper decoupage. And I hope you'll try this smooth paint. Thank you very much. Until the next time.